I graduated from Yale undergraduate 30 years ago and uh, dramatic change. Very few, I, I don't even remember any conversations when I was at Yale about someone thinking about starting a business anytime soon. I don't think there was an entrepreneurial group here. Today, it's very different. You know, a huge percentage of undergraduates and business school students are thinking about starting uh, something. And if they don't start it right away, they feel like during their career, certainly in the business school, they feel like they will run a company at some point. So it's a dramatic change in people's perceptions and the realities. All new jobs are created by startups. I mean, I obviously work in the internet economy, so it's almost all about startups. Um, but I think it's changing everything. I think every single large company CEO I talk to is now concerned that uh, startups will take away their business. You know, 20 years ago, J.P. Morgan didn't worry about it. Uh, you know, uh, General Motors didn't worry about it. They're worried about Tesla. They're worried about Lending Club. They're worried about threats to them that have come in a relatively short period of time. Yeah, I think it has changed because if uh, if everything you know, 50 years ago, my parents' generation. Uh, working at Caterpillar and General Motors and IBM, it seemed like a lot of the interesting products, all the products you used and things that impacted you came from large companies. Today, that's not the case at all. It's just so much easier and faster to be able to set something up. Services can be done by very small companies, uh, very local companies. So it certainly feels like, and I think the data supports the fact that uh, a bigger part of our life and the products that we have are provided uh, by startups. It's not true in, as much in education yet, uh, it's not true as much in healthcare. Um, it only starting to happen in banking, but in everything else, uh, I think startups are, are doing the most interesting work out there. When reputation is very, very important, um, it's been harder for startups to break through. Uh, sometimes it's uh, regulations. You know, it's, it's not as easy to set up your own bank. Um, it's not something you can just do in the afternoon with a couple of students. Um, there's there, there a lot of a huge regulatory burden. Hospitals, the same thing. So it's hard to do. Uh, but those are all changing. It's being eaten away in various components by, uh, by entrepreneurs. And so I do think that financial services and to a certain extent education are ripe for, uh, for change. There's no question in my mind that the execution is much more important than the idea. Even if you have a good idea for a company and you launch it four months from now, I'm going to look at that idea and say, ah, I might be able to copy that idea and do it. So all you got out of your idea was a four month head start. And you know, this is a long game. So uh, many of us will think we can really just go ahead and compete with that. Uh, so I don't think that's the issue. And I think most companies um, like Google is a good example where a lot of the execution has occurred since the beginning. It's bringing great people. It's all the new ideas. It's evolving with it. Uh, it's almost all uh, uh, the, the execution and not the idea. There's always some luck there, but I think a lot more of it is actually recruiting. It's getting great people uh, and then just having them work on the right thing. So it's prioritization. You know, if you do too many things, you get spread too thin. Uh, if you only do one thing and it's the wrong thing, you won't be successful. Uh, but a lot of it is just doing a, a great job, better job than other people. Google at the beginning was just another search engine that was slightly better. You know, that doesn't sound compelling. Uh, Facebook was just another, it wasn't the first uh, social network, um, but they executed better on some very difficult technical problems. Uh, so most of these companies, when you look back, didn't start with some idea that everyone said, oh my God, I've never thought of that idea. It was just another version of it. The key skill in a startup company is really almost a product skill. So you are building a fantastic product in whatever industry, whether it's a restaurant or a website. So you're going to build a team and you're going to put something together that, that consumers are going to understand. And so there's a creativity, um, innovative thinking, um, but not as much management in the beginning. Later on, it becomes start, you go up the curve and you need more management. The complexity level is going up a little bit. You're starting to manage managers. And so it becomes more about the data. In the beginning, you have no data because there's no uh, product yet. So then when you're an established company, there's a lot more about data and management. In fact, almost all of that product is being done much further down in the chain.